What's going on guys? We're back with another figure review today. And today we're going back to NECA. We're going to start reviewing, uh, well we're not going to start reviewing NECA figures, but I got a few NECA figures and we're going to review some NECA figures. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at, this is a double review right here since, um, I mean both of these figures are pretty much the same. It just come with a few little different uh, accessories. Today we're going to be taking a look at NECA Evil Dead 2. Uh, the one on the left is the Deadite Ash. The one on the right is Farewell to Arms. Now, if you guys haven't seen um, Evil Dead, it's pretty much a cult. It's like a horror cult classic um, um, horror movie. Uh, it's a little cheesy, but it's a great movie. It's uh, there's actually three parts. There's Evil Dead, Evil Dead Two, and then Army of Darkness. Um, I haven't really seen the movie in a long, long time. Uh, Bruce Campbell is awesome though in this movie. If you guys don't know who Bruce Campbell is, check him out. Um, he had a few little cameos in uh, the Spider-Man uh, uh, films, but yeah, Bruce Campbell is awesome. The film is a great movie. Like I said, it's a cult classic horror movie, like a low-budget movie. Uh, it's a little cheesy, but it's it's entertaining, and it was made like in the uh, uh, I want to say late '70s, early '80s, around there. But anyways, yeah, these are the two figures we're going to be going ahead and uh, taking a look at today. So the the one right here on the left is, uh, you can see there, Deadite Ash. You can see it's got the, a nice picture of a skull there. So here is Deadite Ash. This one has like a little zombie looking face. He comes with the head here. And a little like a recorder right there on the top left. Also has a book right there. Right over here it says, Dead by Dawn, Dead by Dawn. <laughs> got a nice picture of Ash there, really, really cool. Uh, the back, it's got a little read up. I'll go ahead and get that in a second. Here's the other figures. So I have these first two and I just gotta get these uh, last two here on the right. But the read up is on this one. Let me see here, I think the read up on both of them are the same. Yeah, so I can only read one. Oh, good. Okay, so the read-up here says, after, rela after relaxing cabin vacation doesn't go as planned, Ash is left with three dead friends, an undead girlfriend, and an angry evil spirit on the loose. As nightfall approaches, Ash must prepare to gain battle with the legions of the damned if he wants to make it to dawn. Celebrate the 25th anniversary of Evil Dead 2 with this exciting new collection of highly detailed posable action figures. Figures include scene-specific accessories to help you reenact the gleefully gory masterpiece that is Evil Dead to Dead by Dawn. Again, the other figures from the series. So this is going to be a little bit of a long um, review. You can see on the background, it's got pictures of woods there. So this is the uh, Deadite Ash. It looks pretty cool. Over here, we got um, this is uh, Farewell to Arms. You can see this guy. It's pretty much the same mold, but just different head sculpt, different accessories. It comes with an arm. You can see he's missing a hand there. Uh, he comes with a shotgun right up here, and then another hand right there on the lower bottom. You see that there? Now we got pictures there. Nice little art or picture of the figure there. Same little read up, Dead by Dawn. Same read up in the back, a picture of the figure right here. Another figure from the line. So another picture there. I think it's the same one as this side. No, it's actually different. All right, so oh, this one has a little different read-up on the side as well. It says, feels like somebody just walked over my grave. Pretty cool. This one has something here. Who's laughing now? 25th anniversary. Really nice. Again, this is by NECA Real Toys. And what we're going to go ahead and do is take both figures out of the packaging. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll uh, get a closer look and see if the figures are worth picking up or not. So uh, hold on, guys. We'll be right back. Okay, so here we have uh, the Evil Dead figures outside of the packaging. Uh, the one on the left is the Dead Eye Ash, and the one on the right is Farewell to Arms Ash. So the first one we're going to be taking a look at is the Dead Eye Ash. So we'll get a close-up on the figure. Um, the head sculpt is pretty nice. I'm going to get that zoom to adjust. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Um, did a really, really great job in the detailing in this guy's face. I mean, even in the, um, like the blood and the bruising and all that, it actually looks really nice. Look in the mouth, you can see the great de uh, detailing. 
around the eyes. Just really, really nice detailing on this guy. NECA did a fantastic job on the head sculpt. It even looks like kind of slimy looking. You can see the hair. Did a great job. I mean, it is NECA, so you know NECA puts in a lot of detailing in their figures. You can see the shirt's all dirty. Great detailing. You can see the hand here. The jeans. The boots. Some detailing in the boots. And this, these figures have the new articulation as well. So pretty nice figure. I mean, this, this, like I said, the head sculpt on this guy is is just fantastic, and he does come with several um, accessories. Uh, but I, what what I want to go over really quick is the figure's articulation. Uh, the head can go up and down, can rotate side to side can also tilt side to side. He does have like a, um, a little bit of a, like a little little bend at the torso. He can also rotate at the torso. The arms go in and out, forward and back. He bends at the uh, bicep. You just gotta rotate the hand there. The wrist rotates, also can go uh, forward and back. It's got a swivel in the lower arm. Um, a bend at the knee. His leg has rotation in it. His foot can rotate. Also go up and down. Also can go side to side. It's got lower leg rotation. So it's a pretty articulated figure for NECA. You can see he's got a little tear in the bottom uh, left leg left leg pants. Pretty nice figure. Pretty, pretty nice figure. Um, the, the accessories he does come with is... Um, comes with a severed head. Zoom, dude, zoom. Now, I haven't seen this movie in so long, I forgot what character this is. Last time I saw this movie, I was a little kid, so I don't remember much. I'm trying to fix, adjust my screen here on my phone, so there we go. There we go, okay, so the, the de I think this is his girlfriend, I don't remember, but the detailing on the face on this, on this uh, head sculpt is really nice. I mean, even the hair, they did a great job on this. You see the bottom, the head severed. Put some detailing in that also. Very nice detail. Look at that. Really, really nice. So he does come with this um, severed head. It's freaking nice. He comes with the book. The DVD I have from this, um, for these films, the cover looks like this. Not sure if you can make it out, but it has like little teeth. It's like kind of it's kind of like a face. I'm not sure if you're gonna make that out, but it's actually um whoops, it's actually really nicely detailed. You can see there the pages. It doesn't open, but it would be cool. So he does come with this book, very nice, and he comes with a nice looking uh, tape recorder. So got a suitcase there, which is actually really nicely detailed. Very cool. <laughs> this is freaking sick. So that's the um, Dead Eye Ash. Really cool. A lot of detailing went in this guy. Put him to the side and we'll take a look at um, Farewells to Arms Ash. Now this guy comes with uh, a few accessories as well, and every he has like interchangeable. Like okay, first of all, the left hand pops off. Uh, why I don't I don't really know why, but his hand the hand can pop off. Um, the arm is interchangeable because he does have an interchangeable. He has another arm here. Where is it? He does have another arm here, and you can adjust the um or you can attach the uh hand as well. I'm going to try to zoom in here. This is this hand is like possessed. You can see the detailing. It's got a little scar there. Very nice. Very, very nice. Blood. It's, it's, it's pretty much movie accurate. And you can attach the um, just attach the arm into the peg. It's actually this way. 
but the the arms come off really easy. Same with the left on the left hand, and I don't I don't really know why this is interchangeable. You can't really attach anything to it. But and then hold on a second here. And he also we're just gonna go over the accessories really quick. He also comes with another severed hand, but this one isn't attached doesn't attach to anything. So he does come with another hand, which almost looks the same as this one. But not really because it's got different wounds. So he does come with another hand. You can see the bones there. And he comes with an axe. It's got some slime on the handle. It's actually really nice. Nice looking axe. And he has his shotgun. You can see that. Actually, it's actually nicely detailed. Don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but it's it's it is nicely detailed. And then again, it's like I said, he comes with the interchangeable hand, which you can just pop right off. Or interchangeable lower arm, I should say. And you can have him like that with his like a uh, possessed hand. So this pops it and put the other arm back in. And they're all just pegs, but just careful because it looks like they might break easy. And you can see he's got a little stub there and he wrapped it up. It's nice detailing on that. To get a close-up on the face sculpt. <laughs> it's actually really nice. Looks just like Bruce Campbell. The figure is pretty much the same as the uh, Dead Dead Eye Ash. Same body, same body sculpt and everything. It's just, I mean, there might be a little differences in the paint. You can see the shirts are obviously different. Um, a few little differences, like of, of course the head sculpts are different. The um, arms are different. But other than that, it's the same figure. Same articulation, I mean the head goes side to side, up and down, can tilt a little, arms going in and out, forward and back, bend at the bicep, rotates at the wrist, rotates the waist, a little bit of a crunch there, legs, you know, they don't go they don't go forward and back, but they rotate, bend at the knee, uh, lower leg swivel, foot goes up and down, he's, and he's got the same pant tear, but it's the same figure, the only thing is that you get different head sculpts, little different differences in the paint scheme, and you get some pretty cool accessories with these figures. But um, like I said, if you're an Evil Dead fan, you sorry, I pause there. If you're an Evil Dead fan, you're gonna want to pick these guys up. They're pretty cool figures. Nice to have for your collection. They're not the first um, NECA uh, Evil Dead figures. I mean, they're. I think. Wait, I think I'm not sure if NECA made Evil Dead figures in the past, or was it Todd McFarlane? Not too sure. It might have been McFarlane, but I know there 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 are several other um, ne um, Evil Dead figures that have been released. But these are the newest ones, and you can find them at Toys R Us. And they're great figures. I, I think they'll they'll run you like at fourteen ninety nine. I believe is is what the price is. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to do a quick little review on these guys. Um, okay, guys, this is Seha Man, and today we were looking at the uh, NECA Evil Dead two uh, figures. This is a series one. This is. The one on the left is uh, Dead Eye Ash, and the one on the right is Farewell to Arms Ash. Hope you guys enjoyed my review, and we'll see you guys next time.